So where were you before you started working with ECU? I was, and I currently still am for another short time working, and I uh, produce events here, particularly a very large festival and other really fun concerts. And I've been here with this company for about eight or nine years. And we do great things. You know, like at what point in your previous situation were you like, hey, at what point did you say, hey, I need help? with this job search? Yeah, that's a great question. I would say we have like a downtime here after our season sort of comes to a little bit of a crawl in the late summer and the early fall. I got asked by a friend to do some freelance work out of the state. So when I went and did the job for him, I just realized I was living in a bubble and there's just a lot of opportunity, a lot of money to be had. And it wasn't necessarily about the money or it was just really about growth. So I needed to be able to keep growing. Do you feel like you achieved that here? I absolutely did. You know, this was an investment. And I remember speaking with, with Derek and saying, all right, well, you work in sales as do I, you know, it wasn't even an option. I said, great, sign me up. I think I knew that I could do it, even though it just seemed so far away. So it was definitely an investment that I knew would pay for itself. So where did you find the most value working together with us here at ECU? The people who are participating in this program, they are going in with a clear mind knowing that it's not a freebie that you have to work. I knew that with a busy life, I'm a property owner, times two, full-time job, three kids. I didn't want to let anything suffer in order to devote my energy to this program. So I felt that it was very well-rounded in the fact that you can be in a situation where you need to be focusing 100% of your energy on this, or you can back off a little bit and, and really have a work-life balance. And I was able to to do that. Attending the meetings were great and reading all the materials were sent to me. Learning the automation was like another job in itself, but it was an amazing tool. But I think at the top of the list was listening to Tim and Robert and, and Megan and everybody talking about how to get through the interview process and how to be, how to go about that in a totally different way. I always find that, that when that perfect offer comes, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad this didn't work out. I'm so glad that didn't work out. And it's a, it's a process of just really trusting the process. Do you think that you experienced a major mindset shift while you were working with us? Absolutely. The teachings of how to do the interview process and even how to find the decision makers was also a very mindful piece of this. You didn't necessarily need to jump on a call. The way I feel about that is that even if I would get off a half an hour call or there was one that was in person was supposed to be 30 minutes, it was two and a half hours. When the owners look at each other and they say, well, what do you think? And the other one says, I think she's perfect. Like for me, that's a mindset right there. That even if that one didn't work out, which it, it didn't, but for the owners to look at each other and tell me that I'm the perfect fit, it really does make you keep going to the next one. If people don't take the program and they go through a two and a half hour interview, they're like, oh my gosh. And I was like, that's cool. It didn't work out this time. You know, we have this great network now. When they experience rejection, it's very intense and it's hard to pick up and, 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 and keep going. But I feel like with those repetitions and that mindset shift, it becomes a bit easier to process and you just become okay with it, exactly like you said. Can you share a little bit with us um, your offer and um, if you were happy with it? I'm moving from a small company, as I mentioned, and from my hometown. I think maybe it's important to say that at this point, I definitely had some criteria that I really wanted to work from home uh, with the ab ability to travel to the next event. I had a certain number in mind that I wanted to hit, or at least a nice range, and um, a certain amount of benefits that I wanted to do or any stipends. The company I ended up going with was definitely hit all those marks, but in addition, the fit came on top because the fit was almost in the growth mindset. I felt that I could walk into this new place and know that I wasn't just going to be a number, even though it's a large corporation. They needed, you know, a leader and they needed someone who had managed a small team and they had needed specific things from me. And that's what I was able to deliver. And I feel that that's at the top of their list. And so I felt that even though I was needing a position, they need an employee. That was definitely a 50-50. And so fulfilling that need of being someone in addition to all the benefits that they hit was definitely the one for me to say, this is, this is the one.